Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. I am so excited to tell you that there are four new sets of Cards TV stamps going in the Cards TV online store tonight, guys. And this is one of them. This is Cards TV All American Sentiments. And we've got God Bless America. We've got a nice star over here. Stars and Stripes. Let Freedom Ring. Having a Blast. My Hero Wears Combat Boots. Happy Fourth of July. My Little Firecracker. All American. Sweet Land of Liberty. And then right over here, Land of the Free, Home of the Brave. And this will be in the store tonight, guys, along with three other sets. And we're going to use this one to make a Fourth of July card today for my little granddaughter, Lily. It's going to be real cute because I found a darling image to go on the front. Now we're going to use Elegant Edges and of course we're using Red, White, and Blue. So I'm going to get these out of the way. We'll get started on Lily's 4th of July card. The first thing we're going to do for our card is go ahead and stamp this little banner and this one's going to have Happy 4th of July. So I'll go ahead and get this off. And I've got my mat here, which always gives a better impression when you're using high-quality clear photopolymer stamps. Let's make sure I got that straight. That's kind of straight, I think. I think that'll work. And we're going to use the Fisker Stamp Press. And, of course, I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. That's my favorite. The only time I don't use that is when I have a smaller, you know, stamp with a really fine font on it. And I want it to be really crisp. Then I use a different kind. But I always tell you. Okay, we're going to get this stamped. Perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead and stamp the inside of the card as well. We'll just get all the stamping out of the way. Now, we're going to use My Little Firecracker on the inside. And when you see this little image that's going on the front of this card, you'll know why. I'm going to stick this back on here, but I'll be sure to clean it before I get done. I always like to keep my stamps nice and clean. Now, we're going to go ahead and stamp on the inside. And I didn't bring my stamp on my jig, so I'm just hoping that I'm going to be able to line this up and not get it crooked. I think I can do it. We'll see. <laughs> I don't think Lily will mind if it's a little crooked. Okay. Got to make sure I can see right where I'm stamping. I think it should go over that way just a little bit more. See, this is why I probably should be using a stamp on my jig. Oh, perfect. I got it right where I want it. Okay, we're done with our stamping. Now I'm going to get my card stuck over here, and we're going to start putting some layers on this A2 size card. It's a white card base. And it's four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. And the first layer that's going on is some red cardstock. And I'll have all the dimensions for you, as well as the supplies that I've used listed at the end of the video, guys. If you need to pause the video when you get there and jot it down, then you can recreate this card. Now we're going to put on a navy blue layer. So we've got our red, white, and blue. Next, we're going to put a shadow. We've got a red shadow and a red and white striped border that we're going to put over here on the side. There we go. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut, well, I've already cut a shadow and a scallop square from Elegant Edges, and that's on page 24. I cut the scallop square 
out of this blue and white polka dot and I cut the red shadow let's see right here so I'm gonna get these adhered together and get these on the front of the card and then I'm gonna show you this adorable little image I found I'm gonna go ahead and put some foam tape on the back of my sentiment so I can make sure of where I'm gonna put that and that's gonna help me decide where to put my little image and here she is isn't she cute she's called fourth of july pinwheel girl and she was designed by stinking cute paper piecing and you can find her in the silhouette design store and her number is 61905 and i just think she is adorable and i used print and cut and i cut two of them and i put foam tape between the two and now i've got foam tape on the back of the last one so that really gives it some thickness and dimension and we're going to add her right here oh she's so cute I love her and we're going to just scatter some sequins over the front and give this little card some sparkle I think we'll put a couple up here go ahead and lay them down first I think I'll put one right here on her pinwheel. I'll go ahead and get her stuck down. And let's see, a couple down here. Here's my finished card, guys. I think it turned out super cute. And I think Lily's going to like it because this little image looks a lot like she does. So we've got Happy Fourth of July and my little firecracker and Lily's my little firecracker for sure thank you so much for coming by and spending some time with me today I hope you all are gonna have a great weekend get some crafting in and have some fun and I will see you again soon with another card bye now <music>